Hey everybody, today I want to show you guys how to get Pixelborn up and running on your Steam Deck. So if you're not familiar with Pixelborn, it's a third-party game based off the Disney card game Lorcana. So the first thing that we're going to want to do here is we're going to come to the Discord for Pixelborn. Then on the left side, go to the How to Setup. And then you're going to come down here to the section for Pixelborn Client Setup. And then step one, and you're going to click on Download Game Client Zip. That's going to take you to the Google Drive location. Click on Visit Site. And then we're going to download the PC version of Pixelborn. And you're going to come here on the right and click on Download and let it download. So once it's downloaded, open up my downloads here. I'm going to open the zip file that we just downloaded. And then we're going to open the Dolphin folders and we're going to extract this zip file that we just downloaded. And also we're going to create a new folder for Lurkana Pixelborn. So you can do that by going right click and then create new folder or create folder. So yeah. So pretty much this is the zip file that we just downloaded. I extracted it to this uh, downloads folder. Sometimes everything doesn't show right away so you may need to restart Dolphin and the folder manager. So pretty much we're going to open up that zip file now that we extracted. And then we're going to put it in the new folder that we created for Lurkana Pixelborn. So once that's in there, you're going to see the .exe there. And then we're going to want to right click and we're going to say add to Steam. And that's going to bring up a add a non-Steam game. And then we're going to click on browse. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder and then the Lurkana Pixelborn folder and then the pixelborn.exe, click on open, and then there it is checkboxed, and then say add selected programs. So once that's added to your library, we can come over here to Steam Library, and then go to the pixelborn.exe, usually it's down here um, when you first do it, and then I, I just add things to my favorites after that. And then you can right click on the pixelborn.exe, go to properties, compatibility, and then Proton Experimental. I tried it on different versions of Proton, um, but it kept on creating new folders for the settings and resetting like the card images and that kind of stuff. So I found Proton Experimental kept it uh, consistent and it would save my login information and everything like that. So that's the one I would go with. And yeah, so once you get that up and running, I would open the game once. So we're gonna click on play and then wait for the game to open. Now when it comes up to in this section down here to the right, it'll be create a new account. So you can either do that or log in as guest, either or. Once you do that, let it load in the game and then we're gonna quit back out. There we go. All right. And so from here, it can get a little bit tricky, so stick with me. So we're going to come back to our Dolphin folder manager. We're going to go to home, and then we're going to go to dot local. Now, if you don't see these folders, these are hidden folders. You're going to come up here to the three lines on the top, uh, top right, and then you're going to go to show hidden files, and then that'll show your hidden folders. So what you're going to want to do is click on dot local, share, Come here to Steam, Steam Apps, and then Compat Data. And then, so from, this is could be a little weird. When you first install a game, it'll create a new folder automatically. Now this folder has a bunch of strings and numbers, and so you're gonna have to search in that folder and maybe that's the correct one. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the folder and go to PFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, come down here to App Data, Local Low, Rebellious Software, Pixelborn, and that is the location of where those settings are now. So if I come back to the Compat data folder here. What I like to do is I like to rename these because the numbers don't give you any description. 
So the one here I did was Pixel Lorcana, Pixelborn Lorcana. You see I even have like uh, Starfield settings, Assassin's Creed settings. So anytime those folders are created, I like to rename them just to make them easier to find. And yeah, so I'll go back to that folder here. So now we're going to put our cards images in that folder. So to be able to download the card images, we're going to come back to the Discord page for Pixelborn. We're going to scroll down a little bit and then go to how to add the images section. Okay. And so from here, we're going to download the card images for the language, specific language that we want. So I'm going to use the English link. And then when you click on visit site, it will automatically start downloading the zip file for the card. So just a heads up on that one. So once those card files are downloaded, we open the zip file here and we can see the card images. We're going to go back to that compact data folder that we had before. And we're going to want to right click, create new folder, and we're going to call that folder cards. So once you have that created, you're going to open the folder you're going to come back to that zip file for the English language cards that I downloaded. And then you're going to want to drag all of these, all of these images into that cards folder. And that should be good. So once you do that, then you can open Pixelborn back up. load in here and just to double check to make sure that the cards are in there you can go to your collection and then the cards should all have images now so it looks a little weird here but um i'll show you in gaming mode how it looks a bit better so yeah so we can quit back out of that now there we go all right so now that you've verified that all the cards are being read and everything like that, you're going to want to go back into gaming mode on your desktop here. We're going to return to gaming mode. And then we're also going to set up the controls in gaming mode and zoom and a little bit of stuff like that. Um, the card images are pretty hard to read since they're so small. Um, and it doesn't seem like there's a resolution fix or anything like that yet. Uh, hopefully in the future on that one. Um, but it should, should be pretty good. Um, once I show you the zoom and that stuff, you'll kind of get an idea of how it is. But so. so we're going to go to our pixelborn.exe again. We're going to boot that back up. Make sure everything's being read right. And should log us in here. Now at the start, you'll probably have a minimized screen or small screen again. So here... What you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to hit your start button on your Steam Deck here. And then you're going to want to go to full screen. And you can tick that off and then back on. And it should be good there. So for setting up the controls, you're going to go to your Steam button here. Controller settings. Controller settings again. And then the current layout, you're going to go over here to your templates. And then come down here to your keyboard and mouse and select that one and that's going to allow you to use the trackpad and everything too and then for the r4 button i made it tog toggle magnifier and you can do that by going and clicking on that and then going to your system there and then saying toggle magnifier and that will allow you to press the r4 button and zoom in so to see that here you can now kind of zoom in and read the cards a little bit better so if we come over to our collection here left click and then zoom it, it's still a little small in some cases but as you learn the game more and, and you learn what the cards do you'll be able to kind of just get what the card is just by looking at it and yeah so i can show you the play test here i'll just show you the test real quick just to make sure it's all working see here there we go so as you scroll area it's really hard to even see them even more on this so you can uh, left trigger which will technically right click and then r4 to zoom in and you'll get a little bit better um, kind of be able to read everything a little bit better which is nice but uh yeah um so everything seems to be working so you can ink cards that kind of stuff you can click and drag 
with the, um, the mouse or the trackpad on your right. You can also use the right trigger here to click and drag as well. And that gives you a little bit more freedom without having to be limited to holding down and then kind of hit that mark there. Um, but yeah, everything's working pretty well. Uh, there, there were some issues of, um, at one point it's like when I was clicking and dragging the cards would disappear and then you just go back down here and hover over the cards again and it'll kind of reset those images. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, nothing much, you can concede, kind of quit. Um, but yeah, other than that there's not much else. Um, custom games, everything like that, stats, test, and yeah. So, so now I'm going to show you how to actually get decks into uh, the game as well. So this is a little bit extra stuff. If you wanted to build your own, you can create a new deck as well, and then pretty much put, put all the cards in. And yeah. So I'll, I'll show you how to actually download decks and the codes that you can use to put that in without having to go through that hassle of creating your own decks, but yeah, it's pretty fun. So here, let's get onto that now. Um, I'm going to quit out of the game and I'm going to go back into desktop mode here. So power, switch to desktop, and yeah, I'll be right back here. Oh. And so from here, uh, we're back in desktop mode and I started up Pixelborn again. If it starts off small again, you can turn off full screen and then it'll kind of be this size and then you can double click on the top bar here and that'll make it a bit bigger just so you can kind of switch around to different windows without being maximized. Um, so from here to add decks, we're going to go to our decks and then say import deck and then there's a deck code string and then a deck name. So if we go to this website, dreamborn.inc, that'll have a bunch of already pre-made decks that we could try out. So if we just click on a deck here, and then we go here to menu on the left, and then say export, and then go here to the pixel board tab, and then there's the string of code here. So we're gonna highlight all of that, and then we're going to copy it, go back to Pixelborn, and in the deck code string, we're going to paste that. So I think it'll need to be a control V. Yeah, so you may have to use that, or you can hit your Steam button, bring up your uh, keyboard, and then hit paste, and that should work as well. And then deck name, I'll just say um, test. And then we should say import. And there we go. Now we have all those cards from that deck from the website. And that's how you kind of download other people's decks and test those out. And uh, yeah, so pretty much that's it, at least all I can think of right now. Um, I hope that helped you guys out a little bit. I know it's kind of scattered and <laughs> everything, but uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to help you out and enjoy.